Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to learn about the brand new Sessions tab that was added to Darkroom Booth 2024. With this new tab, you have the option to view the status of jobs, go in and reprint or resend via SMS, email, event gallery, etc. Now, when you view it, it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot of options and a lot of capabilities. So with just a little bit of information, this video will help you learn how to use the brand new Sessions tab to the best of its ability. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so here we are in my computer. Let's open up Darkroom Booth and we'll see that there's the new Sessions tab. First thing we'll do is kind of talk about the different things that display here. Um, we have, the, here's a print, and this is a video or a GIF file. We can see what was processed. So in this case, we had printing, uh, email, sent to phone, added to a slideshow, uploaded to the event gallery, and Dropbox. On this one right here, it was just uploaded. It's just a video, so there's no print, and sent to phone. In this case right here, we can see that it was uh, printed, mailed, but it did not send to the phone. And specifically on that one, I uh, intentionally added an account, a Twilio account, which is not needed, but um, I did not set it up properly so we'd get an error. So now that I have removed that Twilio account, we should be able to reprocess that job and resend it to my phone. So that will take us to the next area. And I'm gonna just show you that real quick. Um, this is how you would reprocess a errored job. We can go redo output, and I only have this one job selected. And I'm gonna check the option for phone. And I'm gonna go ahead and just leave all of those. Uh, I could just check the option, the errored one, and uncheck these. But as long as it meets this criteria and this criteria, it will reprocess that job. And we'll get into that in just a moment a little bit deeper. So if I press redo, it should now resend and you can see that that icon is now turned black, letting me know that it's sent. And if you listen, you should have been able to hear my phone buzz. Okay. So same thing here. If I want to reprocess this job, I can go to redo output. And in this case, I'm gonna just check event gallery and that's the only one that aired redo and you'll see this should turn to, to black and it's resent now it's up the event gallery so let's look at these options if we right click right here we have um, option to select all these are just selection so today's uh, sessions uh, select all control a uh, find recipient so if I were looking for one that was sent to my email address it would then select and you can see it moved from this one because it didn't send to an email. It went to, uh, this one was selected. So, um, and then I can go to um, find next and it continue to the next one. Here's another email. If I do find next, it should skip a few. And there we are. So um, let's keep going down this list. Change recipient. So let's say instead of sending it to this email address, I want to go to a um, a different email address it would then update with that email address okay so another thing we can do here is um, we can so we've changed the recipient we're down to change text so if there was text that I wanted to replace, let's say this birthday party was actually on, um, in May, I can tell it to find that text and replace it with this text. So we'll go ahead and try that out and see if it works. And you can see that it's updated and uh, it, 
just applied to this one template because that was the only one selected. So if I wanted to apply to multiple templates, I would then select all and then do the same thing and change text and replace text. And now they'll all update with that correct text. Okay, so keep moving down. We have change email provider. If you had different email accounts, you can change from your uh, whatever account it's sending from using darkroom email. This really doesn't apply because you would just have that one. And same thing with change phone provider. If you're using your own Twilio account um, versus the darkroom Twilio account, you can change between those two. But uh, what we had suggest is using the darkroom email server or postmark if you're using your own and then uh, the darkroom phone So this is an option to redo today's sessions or redo output and the difference is the which ones are selected or uh, Just the ones that were captured uh, the same day You look right up here you have very similar options. Um, it's the same options you would get from right, right clicking. Um, these are your selections. And then here's the redo today's and redo output. And then you also have um, a view contact list. And that would show you the um, email addresses. And it should show phone numbers. Um, in future versions, it will show the phone number it is sent to. It's very similar to how the wrap up tab contact list is generated so one thing I didn't show but if you didn't have internet um, and there wasn't necessarily an error it was just incomplete instead of seeing a um, black icon or a red icon you would see a gray icon and that's where this option comes in right here that you can if it didn't have error but it just didn't finish you can check all these options and so if your printer wasn't connected that would be in this case and it will just process the incomplete so once again kind of think of this as criteria it has to if it's a print but you don't have anything checked here then it's not meeting the criteria here so if you have all of these checked but just have error checked here it's only going to process even though everything is checked here it's only going to process what was aired now if you want to reprint, resend everything, check everything here, and then you can check complete or check all three and it will just reprocess and reprint everything. So that's a quick dive into the sessions tab new to Darkroom Booth 2024. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.